Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Trudegrad with me, Frank it Don. Off camera, I made my way back to the machine factory. I got to a few fights on the way here, so I do have more experience than I left off with. Uh, but let's go and talk to Armin. A mechanic in a mechanized infantry helmet silently moves his lips as he stares at nothing in particular. When he notices you, he judders as if he'd seen the devil himself. Oh geez, I had nothing to do with the strike. Don't. Oh, it's just you. I thought they were coming to get me. Don't scare me like that. I'd like to upgrade my armor. No problem. 10,000 rubles, and I'll take care of everything. Now here you are. You pay the engineer, and he immediately gets to work. After scrubbing off the rust and giving your armor a new layer of polish, he changes out some bolts and nuts, takes a step back to admire his work. Is it done? Oh, you betcha. Hey, is there any way to improve this armor even more? Well, I've heard that, but nah. It's nothing more than a rumor, superstition, a whisper of a gypsy on the autumn wind. Tell me what you heard, and I'll decide for myself. Yeah, okay. Before my uncle passed on, he told me about this construction gig back in pre-war times. He once worked on a secret bunker, one of many in a huge network, supposedly located deep beneath Trudegrad. You don't know half the crazy crap they got up to inside these labs and military installations. Uh, his unit, for example, built an underground facility especially for Wait for it. The testing and maintenance of experimental armor. I see. I think I should check this place out. If there are more components for improving that suit left in this world, that's where they'll be. My uncle was a crazy SOB, but he did share the installation's coordinates with me. However, he also informed me the place was cursed. Naturally. What kind of curse are we talking here? God only knows. He never gave me the details. What I can say for certain is that many stalkers ventured within but none has returned. Well, not none exactly. A single group was halted deep inside the cave, at a huge military bulkhead they couldn't open. They returned empty-handed. Oh, okay. Uh, where's the entrance to that place? Go to the outskirts and walk in the direction of the dam. You'll find the bunker mouth on your way. Let me mark it on your map. Thank you for that. I don't thank me yet. Uh, first, it's probably just a tiny abandoned bunker. Second, there might be nothing left inside, except maybe some mutant freaks. But if you do find some spare parts, upgrade your armor for free. For the love of art, as they say. A uh, deal. How can we trade? I do want this... It's, a, it's almost 16,000 rubles. That's so expensive. All of his stuff is expensive. I have picked up more stuff on the way here, so maybe I can... He got enough money. Or not. Why do you pay that much for camouflage? It doesn't do anything for the armor besides change its appearance. It's weird that it costs so much money. Alright, a promise is a promise. Shake the man's hand and leave. Alright, we do have a couple other things we can do here. Why can't I move? Oh, I'm stuck behind the armor. Well, that would do it. Alright, so the guy in here owes me a weapon. I don't know if it's been a day yet. Yeah, so we have to come back here during the day, it looks like. Alright, well, let's go to the dam. I can't rest since we're currently in withdrawal. We 
need to find something to do, so. <laughs> Let's see if we can't find more armor upgrades. In fact, what did I pay for? Was it always plus two strength? I assume all the resistances have gone up. I don't remember what the base stats were. Probably should have looked before I got it upgraded. Oh well. I'll just take his word. His word for it that he actually upgraded the armor. It didn't just take my 10,000 rubles and call, call it a day. I still haven't been to the dam, have I? So I don't know if it's a bug or if wearing my armor reduces my speechcraft to the point where I can't talk my way out of these fights anymore. Ever since I've started wearing the armor around town, I haven't been able to talk my way out of a single fight. Damage. Have I ever done? I don't think I've done zero damage to anybody this entire playthrough so far. I've missed attacks. Or they've dodged it, but I haven't done zero damage. These thugs get tougher. Alright. Let me drop my bullets. Get a little tedious. Why are these thugs so tough? It's absurd. Jeez Louise, man. <laughs> like, I don't know what happened since we came back up from the, uh, the underground. I mean, the fights I got into off camera were nothing like that. We can't carry more weight. That's one of the upgrades we got. 
up to 193 from 183. be a bad idea to find a merchant before we go down into the dungeon. This is his nighttime, I had to sell most of my stuff to uh, Uncle Ho. I don't think he has any money left. I guess I can drop off a lot of the stuff at the entrance to this place and come back for it later if I want to. There we go. Alright, so it's not a bug. Just really bad luck on my end. He's in front of the tunnel that leads to the abandoned bunker. It's the one that the mechanic from the machine factory told you about. Alright, check this place out. Alright, we'll drop some stuff off just to be safe. back here I would have found these two logs. Let's go grab those. We'll drop them off at the entrance as well I guess. I really like this blue and gold. I think in the last episode I said it was very space wolfish. I know it's not. Space wolfish have uh, space wolves not space wolfishes. <laughs> have a more grayish armor. But in some Some representations of their uh, appearance. They've had like a more bluish color. It's supposed to be like an icy gray, like a blue gray. That's another reason why I want the winterized camo, because I think it's going to look very much like the Space Wolf. Color scheme. It only got me up to 174. Alright. Let's see what's inside. Spiders. <laughs> A sickeningly pale man sits on the cavern floor. 
I lay clutching his wounded shoulder and sobbing. Rove, I'm dying over here. Mauled by a spider I was. Heh, <laughs> imagine that. Mauled by a bloody spider. I hear that one every day, am I right? Hold on, who are you exactly? Name's Elgato, the priest's son. Came here seeking riches, but now, well you see. Please save me. I'm not ready to cross the Jordan. Uh, first tell me what is this place? Now it's spider country. But see that door over there? Free war stuff. Probably the front entrance of a military bunker. Even a secret testing facility for some weird powered armor thingamajig. He says to the guy in weird power armor. <laughs> says that spider beat me at arm wrestling. I have no wish to explore this place further. But you look like you can handle yourself. Go inside, why don't you? You might find riches untold. Satan works in mysterious ways. Maybe helping me will bring you luck. And what happened? Speak clearly. A spider bit me. That's his corpse just over there. See it? Hmm. Let me check your wounds. The man takes his hand off his bloody shoulder to reel a gash the size of a juicy apple. The bite marks are weeping a sickly poison which will travel to the poor sod's brain if not stopped in time. I sit still. When injected with an antidote, work my, mag my medical magic using a med kit. Ignoring your patient's twitches, screams, and baby-like weeping, you skillfully apply medicine to his wounds. When the stalker is all patched up and back on his feet, he's healed enough to hobble to the nearest settlement on his own. I can feel the life returning to my patched up bod. You helped me out big time, you did. Give me your hand. Go on, seriously. Give me your darn hand, bruv. Extend your hand. The man grabs you by the wrist and pulls a wrinkled fiberable bill on your open palm. Then he closes your fingers around it and smiles. That's all I've got on me. After descending into that pre-war bunker, you'll be a rich man in just a few hours. Okay, I have to get going now. Right, we spend too much of your precious time chatting like two schoolgirls. While well, you check out the old bunker, I'm gonna meet up with some friends or something. Get a bottle, bottle, get a bottle of vodka, maybe. I'll move along. Whip to the man you just saved. And our old friend just leveled up. One more point. Uh, that's probably be handy for him since he doesn't have maxed out strength like I do. So let's grab that. Maybe I should have got him this instead. It'll be fine. That forty percent chance to cause critical condition. Sure. Why not? Oh, here's the uh, bug stuff we needed to go fishing last episode. So I'm probably gonna hold on to that oblivion ampule until later on. And if I can't... Do a couple of the quests that I need um, certain skills to do, like the training the dog, uh, repairing that old man's radio, getting that truck out of the um, flooded cold plane, or cold flood plane, then I'll respec and take care of that. Picked up another radio. Okay. I guess I can just sell that stuff. So it's gonna give me some toxic resistance stuff, which makes sense since they're spiders. 
Uh, let's see. But our suit gives us 100% toxic resistance, right? Yeah. So we shouldn't be taking any poison damage anyway. It'd be cool. I guarantee this is locked. It'd be cool if, like, with the power armor equipped, we can, you know, tear the door open. You stand in front of a massive gate that blocks you from going deeper into the stuffy depths of the old Soviet dungeon. Your regular average Joski wouldn't be able to open the giant doors. But maybe someone cased in a suit of special armor will have a better chance at it. So I wonder if I can use the power armor to pull that truck out, too. I doubt it, but that'd be cool. Instead of having to use, uh, power of the crane, because I have power armor on. I might as well just yank it out of the swamp. Uh, try to listen to what's happening on, at the other side. The thick metal door prevents the passage of any sounds from the other side. After a minute of this useless exercise, all you hear is ringing in your ears. Now I closely examine the huge gate. It looks solid, obviously built to last till the inevitable triumph of communism. You spot some scratches on the metal surface, no doubt evidence of the previous attempts to open the gates. There's also a visible gap between the panels, just enough to put your palms in it. Now try to open the doors. You do a breathing exercises, crack your joints, take the most comfortable position possible. After psyching yourself up, try to push the heavy gate, or sorry, start to push the heavy panels apart. Pretty soon your muscles start to ache, and sparks begin coming out of your armor servos. When you already think of giving up, the defiant gate caves in, and the panels slide into the walls. The path inside the mysterious bunker is clear. All that is left is for you to take it. I wonder what's inside. Alright, so let's look around. I wonder if we have to go through this other tunnel otherwise. Or is that just a separate... Might be its own thing. Yeah, it's just a little dead end. Alright, let's go in here first get some more experience. Make sure our flank is secure. If we ever need to find another ghost, we'll be all set. Or if we have to ever summon any Eldritch Horrors. So I think it's been referenced, right? I think one of the rumors was something about uh, the Spiral Cult, Sp Stone Spiral Cult or something. base game, in the little town of Ultranoia, you can summon a being from beyond the stars. We'll do a once around before we go inside these buildings just to see what's laying around the edges. Like all these microchips that I'm not going to pick up.
That'd be two-handed X. Not as good as what we currently have equipped, but better than a regular X. That's flashlights. Is that better than what we currently have equipped? Oh, here we go. This gives us another 7% DR, 1 DT to body, plus 8 uh, carry weight. Of bricks, I'm not picking those up either. All right, so I do want to check something. Does it actually change my appearance equipping this stuff? I think it does. I don't see a change here, so maybe not actually. Yeah, I don't think it does. That's lame. If it does for the weapons, you'd assume that it would for the uh, armor as well. Seven XP for that one. An attack grenade. Now that over encumbers him. Don't want the old man over encumbered. is broken first you need to fix it so I assume I need technology for that um, I need technology for the stuff in the old floodplain as well so it might be worth respecking soon I don't know how much I'm gonna need We're currently at nine, so more than that.
Alright, slow going. I think it takes longer to loot stuff while you're in the power armor because it takes you a little while to rotate to... Oh, I can't get through there. Alright, Igor's letter. An unsealed envelope with an unsent letter. Hello, Mom. As you already know, not all of us demobbed in September. Me, Yanka, Kozia, and Boss. Cream of the crop in our military unit. We're drafted again to test this underground obstacle course for... Man, how should I put it? Remember when I wrote that day they gave us rifles for like a holiday to me? Well then, when the command gave me permission to pilot one of these walking tanks was like... Tbilisi Rock Festival in 1980? Uh, the course itself is kind of crap though. When you see it for the first time, it becomes clear as day why those suits decided to test it on regular soldiers first, rather than on elites from SGR. That's why I'm writing this letter, even though I will never send it and, will never, and it will never reach you. I need to work on my handwriting so that I will be able to leave some hints for those who come after us. Igor. I'm just going to look at this information board and then we'll call it an episode, and in the next one I guess... Probably respec. Now you look at the information stand with instructions. First page reads, 1. The flag of the morning sky. The first step is important in life. Fighters, you're about to proceed through a series of obstacles designed to test the capabilities of the experimental ZOSS-14 armor. Please, pay very close attention to this information. Now I read the second page of the instructions. 2. Before the start, make sure that the ZOS-14 is fully equipped and hermetically sealed. Check if you have the required amount of bandages, ammunition, and specialized tools. Don't forget to inspect your government-issued rifle for any defects. Note that fatigue and minor injuries are not considered valid reasons for stopping the test. Read the third page of the instructions. 3. The purpose of the SA-1 Matrasov test is to study your tenacity and endurance under an exchange of gunfire. You'll be free to continue only after you subdue the mobile protector turrets. And read the fourth page. Now, the purpose of the SA-2 Chapayev test is to study the capabilities of the armor in the extreme conditions of fire, flood, electrocution, and breaking through barriers. Now, the next door will open only after you complete all the necessary experiments. Now, I read the fifth page of the instructions. 5. The purpose of the SA-3 Zaitsev test is to check how well you will fare in a close combat situation with the forces of, your, of the potential enemy. Stay alert, soldiers. The motherland is counting on you. Okay. I assume we need to power the generator in order to do this, so I think I have to respec. So that's what I'll do. Now sadly I don't know how much technology I need. I need to be careful with how much I put into it. I don't want to... ...overdo it. Good news is with my current equipment, I shouldn't have to max out my strength and stuff, so I put more points into intellect. Since my armor gives me plus two. They have a plus four modifier currently. See, I might fiddle with that a little bit off camera and figure out how I need to respec to get my technology to where it needs to be. And then we'll go from there. I don't need throwing weapons. I don't need... I put some points. Well, I do need survival. I don't know what it needs to be yet, though. I'm not as worried about that as I am uh, technology right now. And I can also, if I get a toolbox, I think it gives you plus 20. I can buy that, I think, from the stalker merchant at the outskirts. So, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Again, I'm trying to do everything that I can, so. For now, I'm going to call it here. And that's, again, we'll, we'll see about respecting next episode and powering this generator and finishing this test, because I'd like to get more upgrades for my armor. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.